So today I am just taking a little bit of time out from um, video editing to a little bit of um, cell management. I am charging up as many of my batteries as possible and putting um, my lipos into storage charge because uh, it's not going to be used. Uh, so every rechargeable battery I have is just going to get repeaked. 5 cell AAA pack nickel metal hydride uh, lipos um, drone um, phone lots of double A's and some triple A's and wait what's going on here what the hell's going on what are you doing to I know I wasn't happy with them, but get in your van and go away. Right then, folks, um, I hope you enjoyed that little in roll. I was going to try and animate it. But I'm not Pixar, so yeah, I weren't quite happy with the way the graphics turned out on the truck. Um, I'll, I'll explain a little bit later. Firstly, I want to thank you, um, say thank you to the A team up there. They just sit and watch me at work and they decided to help strip the graphics off. So they're off. I've removed the adhesive residue from the old stickers and... I want to make an apology because the last but one video, the one with the fifth wheel, I noticed that um, YouTube had automatically placed an insane amount of ad breaks. Now, I usually try and catch this before it happens because I hate a video that's just absolutely littered with ad breaks. Um, we can control that on the YouTube studio. The next one which is is going to be published that i've noticed has already got um quite a few ad breaks three six nine twelve ad breaks um that's to me is insane so basically i just go in there and um delete them um and then i Rather than, you know, let them place an ad break in the middle of something, I might place the, the occasional uh, ad break. Um, you know, it's uh, YouTube revenue. Uh, it, it buys me a drink, etc. I'm not begging for Patreons or anything like that. So I shall just place... And this video is an hour long, so one every 15 minutes isn't uh, too much. So the one you've just watched last week, um, that was uploaded um, probably two, three weeks ago. Because rather than bang all the uh, uh, the videos that I do, because this, this whole project took me about two weeks. And I'm not going to put all of the... Um, stuff on all in one go because you, you just get fed up of watching it because i've i've got um 10 videos this one is going to be 11 and the last for the for, for the tractor unit um yeah i weren't happy with the way the graphics turned out i noticed on the uh, cricket design space that um the number the, the telephone number was in bold and it, it, it really kind of jumped out so i've redone them in um a non-bold typeface just normal um i'm happy with the bumper i'm happy with the way that has turned out and let me tell you that was a pain in the behind i lost the file it was corrupt I've debugged the camera, so hopefully 
everything will be hunky dory. That Ainsco graphic I am happy with and I'm happy with the bumper and it really was a pain in the behind to do and I just wished the file hadn't become corrupt. So what I'm going to do to finish this off is apply the smaller um, Ainsco on there. Now what I ended up doing is you'll notice on the, the photograph and I'll zoom in on it, I'll put it up in the corner, but on the left side of the truck, the H here was very close to the black and it kind of just blended in and disappeared. So basically I've just, uh, you can't see the damn thing. So it was just a little bit too close to the the air cleaner. So I've just narrowed it down from 13 to 12.5 uh, centimeters. Um, so that's gonna fit much better and there'll be a definite line between there and there. And um, yeah, on the back of the cab as well, I put the larger Ainsco graphic right in the middle. Um, between the top and bottom and it was there was no room to put um, the crane hire graphic underneath without going on to this join um, so I'm going to put the crane hire limited on first make sure it's central and then put that one on there um, so yeah this is not going to be a particularly long video it's going to be um, what you see now and uh, I'll apply the graphics and then uh, come back to you and uh, show you the finished article and in the meantime I just hope the A team are watching and see that I'm going to be much happier with this and uh, not take it off. And there it is. I've redone it. Um, they look much better. The words look much better with the phone number. Um, in hindsight, I should have filled the two little holes for the cab. Um, what, what do you call it? The cab, uh, the cab stand to, to stop the cab tilting all the way. Um, it's a bit of a shit design that. Um, but I'm not really going to be too upset about that. And uh, there's the other side. Pretty good. It's got a definite um, gap between the end of the H and the uh, air intake. And uh, yeah, I like that very much. And um, the back also looks much better with the crane higher underneath there. Um, now, what I did do was I put the, uh, the the phone number on the side of the cab and the ones that I'd caught um, were too big because I measured the Ainsco crane hire part and then I measured this part but there's a seam line just here under the Ainsco livery and I measured the National Helpline phone number from there didn't take into account that there was the Crane Hire Limited sticker so it would have been much too big so I've just recut it um, slightly smaller so it fits and uh, these will be surplus to requirements and I don't know I might uh, get them on the trailer somewhere I don't know and then I've got a spare one of them in case I, I messed messed up um, but yeah that's pretty much it now what I do have um, to put on here is some uh, Carson aerials antennas so uh, I 
got these, I can't remember where I got them from, I've had them for a while. Uh, so basically you get two sets of, uh, let me uh, drop you down a little bit. Basically you get um, two identical sets of uh, antennas and they're from uh, Carson. So and I think I'm going to put those on. Um, as usual they don't come with instructions but it should be self-explanatory. Um, that's for the side of the cab because there's a little uh, 90 degree thing there that's one of those that tilts back like a shark fin um, that looks like it might be for going on the mirror bracket that one's a straight up and that one looks like a base for that so let me have a play I'm not going to stick them all on because I don't want to um, go too far with putting too much on it I mean just because you can doesn't mean you should and there she is all finished I've put one lot of the uh, antenna on they are just Carson antennas the part number is 907603 so if you want to get yourself some of those they are uh, pretty they look pretty good actually um, I know these um, crane hire people they have um, two-way you know b between the, themselves and on site so I've put a couple of uh, relay antennas on there um, so yeah, I've put uh, them all up there, they look um, pretty good. So I'm pretty happy with the way that has um, turned out. And the next thing to do is the trailer. And um, I've seen that um, Fury Bear, which is now... I believe Noxium, um, I think I pronounced that correctly. Um, I'll put a link to their page in the description and I will um, just show you what I've bought. I've actually bought it. Um, so I'm in the process of kind of tarting it up, um, putting a load on it. Wiring is going to be pretty special. Um, steel braided um, cables, data cables going to the rear bumper and uh, that's going to be a future video so please make sure you um, click that subscribe button so you get a notification of when I upload that and um, click a like because if you click like you get related content plus it helps me it um, yeah, helps the channel to grow. So, um, yeah, overall, that is pretty good. Let me put that uh, on demo. And we have the rotating beacons. We have the acid warning lights with the side repeaters um, wired in. And we have um, daylight running lights. We have the cab interior with headlights, driving lights. And um, yeah, fog lights as well. They ramp up, they don't flicker. Um, yeah, so I am very happy with um, how that's turned out. And I think the cab interior looks pretty foxy as well especially with the man livery let me just uh, zoom in there yeah pretty happy with that overall and uh, the seat belts 
Now I will be taking the cab off for um, purposes of wiring up the trailer because I need to get the connections from the Tamiya MFC03 onto some um, Suzy lines. So that's going to be a bit of a fiddle, bit of a complicated way of doing things. But um, yeah, I'm happy with that. Very happy.